for today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to fix bad makeup. I recently got a comment saying that my makeup always looks so easy. Well, I do make mistakes as well. I just don't tend to share them a lot of the time, but I want to share them today. So here's how to fix bad makeup when you've made a few little mistakes. If you are new to the makeup chair, then make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you like these type of tutorials. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Though you might want to check that you are subscribed because YouTube have been unsubscribing people from certain channels. Just in case, make sure to check that button is pressed and the notification button is pressed if you want notifications. With all that said, let's get started in maybe creating this look or maybe not. <laughs> to create this look, you're going to need an eyeshadow primer, lashes and mascara, two eyeshadows, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette and I'm using two shades from this, the Raspberry one and the Mauve tone. We actually had a problem with this palette before, so I don't know why I thought this was going to be different, but I do love this palette, so I wanted to try and make it work. I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal Eye Paint. This is like a liquid eyeshadow. You're going to need a small brush. I'm using the E01 and a fluffy brush. I'm using the E20. I've already started off by priming my lids and when you're doing anything with liquids or creams, I find it's still important to apply a very thin layer of primer. Just make sure it's incredibly thin because we don't need to overload the lids. This is going to create a blank canvas for us to work on and also give our eyeshadow something to hold on to. And the next step is to apply the eye paint. Different from a cream eyeshadow, this is a liquid eyeshadow. It's a little trickier to use and I think that's probably why this went a little bit wrong. So I started off by applying a very thin layer and I love this color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. However, you need to be very, very careful. You want to make sure that the layer is incredibly even and very, very thin or very thick, but just make sure it's even. Once I covered the lid area and the lower part of the lid, I then went in with the raspberry eyeshadow and I loved the combination of these two colors over one another. So I took the same brush I was already using and I just tapped a little bit of that eyeshadow over the liquid eyeshadow. And this is kind of where everything went a little wrong. Certain areas held on a little bit better, certain areas were perhaps a little bit too thick. And this is why it's very important to make sure your layer is incredibly even because otherwise you will end up with this sort of patchy mess. I then took a little bit of the shadow underneath and I squashed down the brush in order to do this, which is a little tricky when you have long nails, but I applied this underneath the eye. sweeping it a little lower on the outer edge and then all the way in sweeping upwards. When it comes to applying shadow underneath the eyes, you just want to make sure it's a little lower on the outer edge and then sweeping upwards. And I find that this works quite well for most eye shapes. Use your pupil as a guide and make sure it's higher on the inner corner. And this is kind of what we ended up with. And I wanted to see if I could just keep working with this. So I took the mauve tone, which is a matte mauve tone and that fluffy brush. And I used this to kind of blend in the crease area. And I was trying to keep my hand away from touching the eyeshadow that we've already applied. I kind of hit it a few times and it started to kind of crumble. Now this eyeshadow is quite chalky and dry itself. And I think the combination of that with the liquid and the liquid was also quite dry, it kind of just started to flake away, almost like a dry mascara. You know when mascara gets on your face and it tends to dry? It kind of just went like that. And I was a little disappointed because I actually really liked how it was turning out. I just didn't know what to do. So I thought, okay, instead of starting again, let's just try and fix this. So I took a little bit more of the cream and I just tapped it in the areas that had pretty much come off. And I tried to use my fingertips to really push this in to get an even layer. I then took the raspberry shade again, and this time I used a flat brush. I wanted to see if like a flat brush would kind of help to push the product in, and maybe the small brush was kind of moving it a little bit too much. 
So I just kept pressing to see if that was going to work. And then I took some mascara and lashes. And you know what? Once I cleaned up underneath the eyes, it, it was fine. Provided I was looking straight forward. Because as soon as I blinked, you could see that it was quite uneven and patchy in certain areas. So I thought, okay, what can we do here? And when in doubt, just cover everything with glitter. Now, I also wanted to see what would happen if I applied another liquid onto the lid. I was kind of curious about whether this was gonna be worse because we already had so many layers on the lid or if it was gonna adhere at all. And you know what? It actually worked out okay. It's nice to know that I have like a little savior of just covering everything with, with glitter. And I loved the way the glitter sat on top of the shadows as well. It really helped that glitter pop. I feel like everything kind of came together once I put the glitter on top. I wouldn't perhaps recommend creating this look exactly, but now you know that I also make mistakes, so maybe you'll just be a little easier on yourself. We all make mistakes, we can learn from them, and it's okay. So be kind to yourself, my friends, and I will see you hopefully in a better tutorial next week. Stay safe, stay well, be kind, I'll see you in the next one.